Good day, collective. I'm here with a general healing and ascension message for all signs. There's a couple of masculine energies that are currently suicidal. They're suicidal because there was a purchase, an exchange of energy currency for a large amount of money. Um, and the individuals that the money was exchanged with, they were cursed. And these masculines are feeling it. So this, these masculines could be, you could be these masculines. You could be connected to these masculines in some shape, form, or fashion. But they want to do a hard thing. Make sure you all send love and light to your loved ones or anybody that crosses your mind. As I split the deck, there's emperor and lovers. So make sure y'all are sending y'all people's whether you're a masculine or feminine, masculine energy, send y'all divine feminines or your soulmates love and light and vice versa. Let's talk about the nine of swords. These masculine energies are clear because truths about manipulation, gossip, it's more word with you, word magic than anything. They're scared of that. There's a masculine scared about the truth to come out as far as what they do, what they like when it comes to their sexual preference is perverted. To the energies connected to the masculine or the masculine that um, exchange that amount of money and you suicidal now and in your head, the magic will dissipate once you start listening to your own intuition and your ancestors. You need to do a lot of meditation in the sun. There's a masculine energy, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you're just emotionally balanced and intuitive. And for the most part, you invest in the things that make you happy, even if it comes off as selfish sometimes, or if you feel guilt and shame later about what you invested in, because somebody would have wanted you to do something for them out of manipulation and you would have said no, you actually felt bad about saying no. This is the type of message for you. You need to go outside and meditate in the sun. Your ancestors have intuitive downloads to give you, but you have to meditate. Like I said, for the most part, you know how to invest in what your actual wishes are. So just put more effort towards your wishes being... Um, really really grounded really 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 grounded okay grounded like your grandmother used to ground some type of vegetable or root herb you need to get really grounded like your grandma or great grandma well, what else needs to be known as far as these masculine energies Eight of Swords, trapped, stuck in their head. Divine Feminine, there are masculine energies. This could be a person, this could be a friend, this could be a relative, this could be a child's father. They're in their head about their emotions towards you. Divine Feminine, there's a masculine energy. He feels... Like he's stuck on you. He always thinking about you. Emperor. Eight of Swords. 
Queen of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Masculine energies watching and y'all are stuck or in your head and you're trying to figure out information about a feminine energy that you had a relationship with in the past. Watching tarot readings on love and relationships don't actually help you heal that relationship, okay? There's some masculine energies that feel trapped and they feel like listening to psychics and or tarot card readers gives them a peace of mind if they know what's going on with the karmic and the third party because the karmic would have took something from them, whether that something was energy, an ancestor, an actual secret inheritance. I feel like it's a couple of masculine energies that only feel suicidal right now because they gave their offer of love to somebody very very low vibrational that paid a very large lump sum of money to have them binded what needs to be known about the queen of cups you have the world card in reverse this cycle isn't over high vibrational feminine energies it's a cycle with the masculine that's not over both of you had to learn a lesson about your spiritual gifts. Both of you had to learn a lesson about materialism as well. Assets, abundance, what prosperity really means. The good and bad side. Good and bad lesson. The cycle isn't over. Clarify the world card in reverse. Yeah, the world card in reverse. Also, strength energy. If you are dealing with a uh, karmic... Leo, feminine energy. Or Sagittarius with the temperance and the seven of cups. Um, if you feel binded to that person, it's an illusion. If you release the illusion in divine timing and the practice and patience and moderation of clearing your energy and focusing on the lesson that you learned dealing with that person, you'll be okay. Clarify the Eight of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Divine Feminine, your masculine is not letting go of you. Ten of Swords in reverse is not letting go. That's also a situation of not healing, though. Somebody, it's a feminine energy, y'all, that gets paid for divination readings. Heavy Libra energy, I'm about to show you. It's a tarot card reader that gets paid to do actual tarot card readings on Twin Flames. This person considers themselves in a competition. They get paid to do tarot card readings on real Twin Flames. Queen, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Justice, Three of Cups, Four of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. I'm assuming it's karmics and other karmics that are paying this person to get, you know, for these readings. Basically, they're trying to figure out how they can not reverse a curse, but protect themselves from an emperor's ancestors, an emperor's protection. It's a masculine that's a direct descendant of Ra. And he's staying here to do God's work. And this tarot card reader is finding out and will be finding out in the future that the tarot card reading that she's doing on that masculine energy was not approved. It was not allowed. masculine energies or if you have a masculine energy y'all if you went through a major crisis it's over you've recovered and, and gotten your strength back you recovered now I'm not a counselor so don't take my advice as, you know, nothing negative, okay? I just want you to know you have an option to balance your energies out.
you don't have to um, move forward with what who's in ever said what that man said that's not sacrificing yourself it's not the way don't listen to that motherfucker no more okay clarify the emperor energy i don't care who it is if it's your father if it's your boss don't tell nobody you sacrificing yourself is how you get god's love out and inheritance and shit like that yeah king of wands it's a low vibration of alcoholic selfish masculine narcissistic indecisive bipolar schizophrenic broke about to be homeless masculine energy and no it's ov over for a karmic masculine clarify the emperor yeah king of pentacles for divine masculine you done taking losses you are no longer stuck or binded to any betrayals that somebody tried to cause you because they didn't want to let you go Somebody underestimated your power. They thought by you not knowing about a certain line of study, they could just take from you. Clarify page of pentacles. Yeah, eight of pentacles. But it came up in reverse. Whoever the low vibrational reader is, um, her ass about to lose our reputation and clout. To the rest of my high vibrational collective, you all really have to put in the effort to continue studying, to further your career, your skills, mastering a lesson when it comes to finances, stability, home life. Learn as much as you can because it's going to help you in the long run. Yeah, it's about to be an ending for somebody's fucking tarot card platform. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, that's the work of reading tarot. Eight of Wands, that's platform energy, communication, death, it's the ending. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, and yeah, whoever this Queen of Cups is that don't want to let go, she keeps trying to infiltrate you all's energy. And she can't. She's unsuccessful with trying to curse and hex you. And it's making your masculine energy, power, get stronger. Somebody's trying to curse twin flames. And it's making the masculine energy, like, real, real stronger. Especially a Sagittarius. It's a Sagittarius masculine out here going after something of gold what's the ace of pentacles three of swords somebody's hurt sagittarius masculine don't be hurt okay you just get to calmer waters and learn how to be intuitively guided to let go of working with that individual that you were working with it's okay for you to block that person now because the communication is always going to be immature. Divine Feminine. Somebody wants to give you an apology. It's a masculine trying to listen to his intuition. So low vibrational masculine energy. Somebody wants to apologize because they hurt because they lost the money. And everybody that they were in friendships and relationships with have blocked them. So they hurt. They want you to be their friend. They're hoping you'll be their friend. And then y'all actual divine masculine, y'all could possibly be telepathically communicating, telling each other when y'all are transitioning into different phases and stages and traveling telepathically can feel and communicate when somebody's hurt it's a masculine energy that's scared they're gonna pass away in a car accident they feel really left out in the cold right now Taurus Leo Gemini energy 
Somebody's going through real bad karma. It's the masculine. He don't feel well. This person used to like to debate a lot. He could actually be an actual um, very, very good attorney that likes to debate with the King of Swords, Hierophant, Knight of Swords, and Judgment. Nine of Swords again. Somebody's attorney or... or um, yeah, I'm picking up attorney. Somebody's attorney is suicidal right now. High Priestess, I am one. Two of Cups, I am and one. Indeed. Somebody regrets being narcissistic and dragging out something for a very long time. They re Somebody's realizing they've been being a puppet for a karmic feminine. And they ready to keep it moving. They very stressed out to the wall. Somebody was in a relationship, partnership type of thing with a, a dark high priestess, a dark psychic. And they were regretting everything that they've done with that person. The fear is eating them alive. Justice, page of swords. Masculine, if this is you, repent and get right with God. That's all you can do, Ace of Swords. I would run away. Six of swords. <laughs> I would run away as quick as possible from whoever that feminine energy is. God said he gave you an opportunity to make this traveling trip. I feel like you you go in to apologize and say you sorry for hurting her. But she know the situation. She also knows some exposure that's about to come out ab about her when it comes to a legal situation and it's going to be public. It's going to be very public and embarrassing for her. So she just thought she was the HBIC because of a marriage or because of a court agreement. It's going to be some conflict coming up so collective make sure y'all are investing in things that get you progress but make sure it's high vibrational progress and for the right reasons get out of this five of pentacles lack mindset and invest in yourself you are your greatest asset okay you are your greatest asset go ahead and make a plan moving forward on how you're going to make healthy choices and decisions and keep healing, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Pray for your enemies. Bye-bye.